And it particularly has to do with the practice of Bhu, because in the practice of Bhu, we are dealing with life and death. We're dealing with, and we're dealing with power, right? And uh, we're dealing with with the, the issues of power, right? And when it takes the form of attack, what do we do? Up till now, so Bu has been we are stronger than the attacker. And the attacker tries to be stronger than our defense, and not, or you know, or it's not us; it's two others. But you, you get this idiotic thing. In Aikido, you show that that whole thing is meaningless. But if you don't realize that that stuff is going on, then you know. So in the midst of all this, to find what's really going on, and to understand it, to see it, you know. And then in spite of that, in spite of that. So usually, of course, if we start seeing this heavy stuff, it contracts us. But that's what Aikido says, don't get contracted. Then, then at a deeper level, it's like it's like all the minds are connected, and so certain people seem to be doing things which which seem to be bad, but they are also echoing things in our own unconscious. So as we clear our own unconscious, as we clear ourselves, the external clears. And this is thing Ol Sensei says too. Right? That's why when we we're doing like that we're purifying ourselves. And in that purification, it begins to affect the outside. Right? That's why Aikido's practice is purification, not for being better or stronger or knowing how to deal with blah, 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 blah. Right? This practice is purification. And so we have, essentially, we have a new vision of boom. We have a new vision of the warrior or the person who is personally responsible within the context of conflict and life and death. You know? But it's not killing. So as I say, you know, as Osante says, like a super day. Everything. Super day because giving life. Everything is giving life. Giving. As a practitioner, your energy gives life. But, it, you know, it's not, you know, <laughs> I'm just a very good person, I give life to everything, right? It's, it's within this clarity, within the actual situation where, where we find that there is no attack. So it's, we purify ourselves, right? It's like, well, in different ways. O Sensei's praise, which he says very clearly, he says, you, you, we, we sweep away evil. And he doesn't say darkness, he doesn't say, like, you know, words for, like, heavy stuff, or, you know, he uses the word kukuma, which is, means evil, evil at its absolute worst. He says, we sweep away evil with our breath instead of a sword. So, uh, well, sweep away, that was the translation. Kiyomero, it's, 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 we purify evil, like, 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 uh, when rain comes, it cleans and purifies, right, in that sense. But it's evil, then, it's being dealt with the breath. Because we want to do it with a sword, you know? You know, and some idiot Israeli is slaughtering children, you feel like slaughtering him, is the first thought. Yeah. A lot of people might have, right? But that's not the issue. Right? So, uh, and you know, you want to want to do this. So now, what I did in the website is I put in a lot of pictures, mostly from Gaza and some from Lebanon, you know. You know, because there you have asymmetry of power, and the result is dead children mostly. And uh, but the idea is is you know because when you look at those pictures, you you can't just say okay, you know, uh, go watch my uh, buy a new plasma TV. Right? It doesn't let you do that. 
right? And that's the idea, that's the first step, is to have this intent to move out of oneself and mankind out of that kind of stuff. And the bubble, that's something that takes place internally, right? What form take externally do you, you know, I mean, there's all kinds of forms that can take politically, economically, externally. That's not the point, it's the point inside. And you don't accept that, and you don't, uh, well, you don't accept in the sense of, you, it's like, you don't deny it. And you don't deny your own reaction to it. You don't deny that this is what human beings do, and this is what's being done, and it's still being done. So what, what, what Aikido shows, again, is that the human being, in developing their own power, their own capacities, their own capabilities to the maximum, does not have to impinge on another, or create a loss for another. It's the only thing that exists which models this. Right? And at this time, it's the most important thing. Right? So there is this life and death aspect of Aikido. Aikido is boo, right? And one aspect of boo is that it's life and death. Now, you don't want the life and death to contract you. You don't want the life and death to make you look at the other and have a strategy so you don't die. That's not the point. Right? But it's life and death. It has to do with life and death. But you need to be aware of these things. Right? Just at the simple level, aware. And sometimes, and then, so it's like, with a certain sense, if we're aware of this, then this gives us more reason to, 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 to take our, our practice up to the highest level possible. Right? Because that's what we're doing. We're generating light. You know, and this goes back to this old statement that several, I've heard it, different Indian masters have said it, right? very simple. Light does not know darkness. I know stuff like oh sensei their poems, oh sensei says, you know, so I get up and I'm so depressed, I'm like so bad, you know, I can hardly move then he says, but then yeah, you know, energy comes to me from the coming, you know, and I go forth to do I think. Yeah. But even oh sensei didn't, you know, even though, you know, he he saw what was going on. You know, he said, This is what I feel is coming to change. So that basically that's just something I wanted to say because this is something else, and these are things that also like says that really good. Know thyself. Know the universe through the way you know your body, or the way the body works. The body is the key to understanding the universe, which makes sense. Right? Know thyself and know what's going on out there. <laughs>